All right, y'all. It's my review for the Suburban Swankers Club. This horky dirky bitch uh, cat and got her little sister smacked up in the head with a motherfucking golf club. All because Olivia and Giselle was pulling the strings on her little ass. I don't even know which one was which yet. Which one was which? The fuck? Shit, I don't know which one was which hell. Who was the killer? The killer was Noah's wife. AKA Name. I forgot his name. The the Pleiadian looking bitch. Uh, Olivia, whatever, I guess. What the fuck ever. And the husband still cheated on her. Long story short, she ended up having to move with her little sister. Back to a deluxe apartment. Na, na, na. So they moving on down. Over messing with Noah, Mr. Pervy, and shit. Drugging bitches and shit. You notice all of them, besides her husband, Grant, always drugging bitches and shit. Putting shit in people's cups. Olivia, Mrs. Cup. Noah, Mr. Cup. How y'all know how to drug people so damn good? What the fuck is up with y'all, bro? Y'all some crazy motherfuckers, but... For real, bro. And then Grant... Thinking he's slick. Something I cheated on you. Well, I mean, yeah. When she calls you for help and you're in a damn hotel room with the shower running, it's just you by yourself. Uh, hello. The fuck? We got that shit a mile away. All right? The fuck? What else happened in this damn movie? They tried to get us with. The bitch come over, Olivia, looking for her damn fucking, uh, that ugly ass heart bracelet little thingy. Bitch, we knew you had something to do with it. Bitch, you walked her through her house. Yeah, she tried to make it seem like she was looking for Noah, but she was really looking for the damn... Yeah, she you walked from the start of her house all the way to the back of it, bitch. Try again. I was like, bitch, where the fuck you going? So she... Then this motherfucker, she done went through her papers, took pictures, ate a sandwich, logged in with her password, reset her account, got a new password, typed that in, and by the time this look up, hey, you want some coffee? Bitch, you don't get them drug cup, them drug cups the fuck off. The fuck? And then her dumb ass act like she was about to drink it if her sister hadn't pulled up. Cause she still, <laughs> dude, look what she dates, bro. The hell? Niggas in the hood, nigga, we don't even... Bro, if I was in the projects with somebody right now, bro, and I sat my cup down, I'm not even picking it back up. One, they probably got bugs, the fuck? This bitch started <laughs> dating white boys and shit, nigga. She sets her cups down. Oh, is somebody breaking in my house? Oh, well, fuck it. Oh, let me go take a look. No, she sees somebody walk around her house after being stalked, knowing that they're trying to break in. Guess what her dumb ass do? Well, let me just go outside and make it easier for them. <laughs> Like, what the fuck, bruh? You can tell she been named white boys a little bit too long, bruh. The fuck? Her big, let's uh, spicing up the relationship. Nigga, it only benefited you. Your nigga had to hide from you that he was getting ass from one of the same bitches you okayed him getting ass from. While in the open, only you got ass that night. They only showed you fucking with Noah. Right. Then the next day, you come in, hey, hey, what's going on? What is this? The fuck? And then y'all say black niggas be so thirsty and clingy and all that shit. Bruh, once again, name a black nigga that's messing with the wires to your car, bruh, just for you to notice him. That shit is not fucking happening, bruh. That's straight white boy Ricky Stroder shit. The fuck? I don't even know what the fuck he is. I just heard on the wood, but it sounds good. White boy Ricky Stroder shit. Like, fuck out of here, bro. It sounds good. You feel me? Never. So, yeah, man. It was a good movie. You know, Lifetime, you know, it's pretty cool. But, Olivia, you are one of the most obvious looking killers ever. You just look like a killer. Stiff back, tall, lonely. Even when they had the swinger shit set up with everybody had their couples lined up. Only thing you do is see Grant looking over there at his wife and Noah. And then my girl talking about some. Damn, why he ain't mess with her? I said, look at her. She ugly as fuck. Mm -hmm. So I'm not. Oh, I got this. So the one Grant was messing with wasn't the killer. It was a whole nother girl. Giselle, that's the side bitch. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, because he wasn't fucking with Olivia. Why would he be fucking with the girl that framed him for a murder that he clearly just didn't do if he got out? So, okay, it all makes sense. But damn, the black girl smoothly just broke up with Grant without them saying too much at the end. Because, like, how you go from being with him, living with him, to you just like, yeah, I'm about to get ready to go live with my little sister. And you handing over some keys. I mean, you broke up with his ass. But still, I don't get how you break up with him. If one, he's basically, he, do you not realize that Grant served prison time? They already threw him in the oranges. That was a murder that they tied him for. He covered up the murder, just like he said when he was locked up for her ass. That ain't no nigga you want to stay loyal to. He comes home, go have a clue. Who in the world what is going on? He sees you drugged up and he sees a dead body on the floor. And damn it, instead of, and then the girl already framed you with your prints on the knife. So if he called the police, you would have went down for the shit. Instead, he clears the body out the house, right? <laughs> Takes the charge for you, does prison time until you find the killer, and yet you leave him as soon as the fucking shit gets said and done. Ain't that kind of fucked up? It's kind of fucked up. And then what? What? You left him because he cheated? Bitch, didn't you fuck Noah? So what did you really leave him for? <sighs> I'm done. Because she didn't give a fuck. She was damn near willing. Not in that situation, but still, the way she wanted to carry on in the beginning trying to fuck with him, you might as well say, damn it, if she slipped, she would have fell on it. The fuck? Shit, the hell. And his thirsty ass. Every other neighbor, hi, my name is uh, Kelly. Hey, welcome to the community. Hi, my name is Becky. He the only motherfucker, hey, I just wish you work out with my shirt off. Man, I was predicting that movie left and right. Even when she finally came clean and told her husband the truth, I said, his big, you son of a bitch. As soon as he ran outside, my big, now watch this nigga be sitting outside in the yard. Didn't I say that shit? As soon as they go out, there's fucking Noah sitting outside waiting to be addressed. I'm like, bruh, y'all can't make this shit more obvious than the third. The only thing that y'all made this shit throwed off with is the fact that Olivia drove up to a house driving past this big ass desert where she could have already killed her. Tells her a plan. Instead of fucking even using the handcuffs, Noah probably still had somewhere up in there, some damn where I don't fucking know. You could have did something better now. You used this cheap ass duct tape. This bitch used a piece, not even a square or a shape of glass, like a damn it curl, a cutter, a fucking piece of corn worth of glass to <laughs> cut the fucking tape. And now she's running around your house like the three blind mice. Bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> did you really plan this shit through? Then the whole time, you taking her to a house that, I mean, I get you told her you didn't plan this through because you thought Woo Woo was going to take the murder. But after enough time that she had to visit him there, you already knew that you had this house. So with her still living, once you realize you couldn't have got her with that cup, you should already been planning to bring her to that house from the door. So you get her to this house, and now you got to cut up shit, knew all this old stupid shit. And who was you on the phone with that you was talking to about the life insurance? See, that's why I don't understand that when you was about to, when she was taking all them pictures, you told somebody you had to call them back because you was basically telling them about the plot with the life insurance. But you said there's something you got to handle real quick. Then you actually, then she gets away. Then you be, smack her dumb ass sister in the head with the golf club. Then you stab her, inject her with the knife. You get her in the back of the trunk, drive past the desert where you could have killed her at. Then you take her to a spot with no accomplice. It made no sense. When I saw you pulling up, I thought immediately it has to be the person she was on the phone with. Mm -hmm. Nigga, she getting the house is just her. Bruh. I said to myself, this got to be the dumbest motherfucker in the world because now with this little bit ass tape, it's just you versus her. And then now you got to repaint this fucking house as a crime scene because you're trying to, like you told her dumb ass. And who? I hate killers that got to tell you to blame. Just kill the motherfucker. <laughs> So after I come over here, I'm gonna make it seem like that you came in a jealous rage. Typical. I was in a jealous rage, and I'm gonna make it seem like that you held your husband. And I bitch, just kill the bitch. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Don't, nigga, the more breath you waste is the more breath you are gonna have to take. Nigga, kill the bitch, bro. The fuck? Fuck be wrong with these hoes. Shit. When you watch these damn horror movies, they be so damn predictable. 
They kind of do though, but they be good though. It be cool. It was. It was like I said. It was better than I gave y'all that damn strawberry shortcake fucking re- review. I tell you that that shit was fucking trash. Trash, motherfucking fucking trash. Don't fucking eat that shit, bitch. Period. Period. Ever. Oh, I forgot. I got an Oreo McFlurry in the freezer. Oh, video over.